Matt, how did you like the show? How did you like the movie? I loved it. I loved it. I mean, and and I would have, I, I probably would have enjoyed it even if it wasn't good. And it's really, really good because it speaks, <laughs> it speaks to, it speaks to a lot of my my kind of preoccupations, or you might say obsessions. Like I believe that movie theaters are essential to really understanding and appreciating cinema. And I think that if you don't if you're not seeing it with an audience, it's not, you're not really getting the full effect of it. And I understand all the arguments to the contrary, technological, financial, and, and a lot of other things. But um, as I was telling Sujewa when we were talking in New York last week, a lot of filmmakers who in the last few years have said, oh, theaters, they're not important anymore. I don't care. I, I don't care. It doesn't matter how people see my movie. I guarantee you every single one of them, if you came up to them and said, that movie you just made, uh, how would you like to show it in a theater? Every one of them would say yes. Not a single one would say no. And if they did say no, I would say, well, you're lying. As opposed to Greg, who agreed to see it for the first time at a film festival, I needed to see it <laughs> before it went public. So Good. Raphael was very kind and he obliged. And I saw it by myself at, at our own theater. And I began crying immediately for the first 15 minutes. I was just a mess um, and I loved it. And then as I watched it, I thought, wait, am I loving this because I'm in it mm -hmm. and I'm self-centered <laughs> and it's about my family and my kids are in it and they're adorable. And I loved all the interviews. And at the end of the movie, I thought, wait, I don't understand. Am I loving it because it's, it's familiar or is it just a really good documentary? The, the, the actual process of of getting it out there is is not for the weak of heart for sure yeah distribution is very difficult i tell indie filmmakers to think of uh distribution as the fourth and the final part of filmmaking but uh this documentary might save the lamley theaters and might save art house filmmaking uh exhibition as a whole so even if you become broke and homeless raphael you've done a great service to the, to the art form <laughs> yes. Hey, Raphael, I, 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 I want to add on that and just say, you know, what you were talking about, that is the hard part is getting it in front of audiences. I, I totally agree with that. And I see it time and time again. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the sort of critic that one person referred to as a truffle hunter. Right. Like I'm out in the woods sniffing around trying to find the truffles and and, you know, they're not the ones that have the six, seven, eight figure marketing budgets or whatever. Um, and this is this is a truffle, this movie. And I do believe that eventually. People will recognize it as a classic. It's going to have legs. It's really going to. And it's also a really interesting document of a particular time in history for for the medium. And there have been a couple of good ones about drive-ins as well, but the, you know this one is really, really special. And I think what well, part of what makes it so special is the personal story that you've captured so well of the, you know the entire Lemley family. And I got to tell you, you know it's very rare that I see so many people being so kind and decent to each other under the same roof in one movie. Yeah. So it's almost like it's a kind of a weird kind of a emotional pornography for me. <laughs> because that was not my experience growing up. You know, I grew up in a family of artists, but it wasn't like this, where everybody seemed to be looking out for each other and rooting for each other, not just in the same household at that moment, but multi-generationally to see people from, fa you know, fathers and sons and grandsons all sitting around together talking about, oh, how are we going to keep the business going is very inspirational, I think. <laughs>